Hi, this is Brian from EdSite, and this is going to be a quick overview of some options for a sub-admin account to find content. So if you have a sub-admin account with EdSite Schools, it means that you kind of have access to both the admin side of things and the teacher side of things. This video is going to be about how you can find content on the teacher side and share it into schools folders. Um, so to start, uh, you're going to be, when you log in, you'll see the reports page. A lot of admins, sub-admins use reporting, but we're going to go to the teacher side to find content. So you want to go over to the home, to teacher home. Now, you don't need to have classes here, but what we want to do is look at some sources of assessments. So the first source is click assignments and then go to collections. Now this top section will depend on your state, but you can click view collection. And if you see an assignment you like, you can preview it. If you want to add it to your school's folder, you want to click copy. That will take you to the assignment editor and you can share it to a school's folder and lock it as a common assessment if you want. All right, so the top part of that collections page is gonna show state aligned. So this is for Massachusetts. The bottom part is gonna be more general curated collections and you can do all grades, all subjects to see everything. So collections are curated sets of assignments. That's the first source of assessments you can look at. The next source is the assignments library. So you go to assignments library. You can either browse your state standards here. So this one has Ohio enabled, but yours should be enabled. Um, you can click on the tree of standards and actually select all the way down to the standard level. You can also search by topic in the assignment library. Uh, click the dot, dot, dot and move to folder if you want to share an assignment into your school's folders from here. Last but not least, you can build an assessment from items. So go to questions, question bank. Here I want to highlight that we have a state released items filter. So if you check this, you only see items from state departments of education. You can browse standards or you can search. If you select multiple questions, you can click build assignment and you will have an assessment from there. This takes me to the assignment editor that I mentioned earlier. You can name it, demo assignment, save it, make it active once you're ready to go, and then you can share it into that schools folder. Um, if you want to make it a lot common assessment, you can look up the video on setting up a teacher assigned common assessment in the ES training center um, and go from there. If you want to distribute this, push this out across classes, look in the sending uh, content section and you can look up the videos on district distributed assessments. Uh, I'm going to pause there. Um, all assignments that you add to folders. If you go back to your admin home, you can just confirm that they're in there. If you go to content, district assignments, you should see anything you've added to those folders will appear there. Thanks, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, oh, one other thing, you can lock these assignments from this page uh, from the main admin account, not from a sub-admin account. Thanks for your time.